The world is full of dangerous animals that can inject deadly poison, take a massive bite out of you, or otherwise cause serious damage. Today, we're going to be taking a look at 15 of the most dangerous sea creatures in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. Titan Trigger Fish while most fish will happily leave you alone while you're on a dive, a titan trigger fish is far different than this harmless majority. That's because while docile for the majority of the year, they become hyper-aggressive during mating season, and if you happen to be close to its nest, you could easily be targeted for a trigger fish attack. Now, generally speaking, a trigger fish will charge at you unless you leave its territory, inflicting a bite so strong that it can tear through a dive suit and force you to go to hospital for serious medical attention. However, there's one saving grace that they're not all poisonous, making their attacks more painful than they are deadly, and as a result, Titan triggerfish are not quite as awful as some of the other species on this list. Number 14. Flower Urchin At first glance, the flower urchin seems like nothing more than an exceptionally beautiful sea creature. It's found across the Indo-West Pacific, and it's best known for the flower-like appearance of its appendages, and generally keeps to itself at the bottom of coral reefs or seagrass beds. However, if you decide to get too close to one, the results can be deadly. You see, these creatures have tiny little sensors that can detect threats by touch and chemical stimuli. And so when agitated or brushed against, these sensors will immediately snap shut and inject venom, which by most accounts is considered fatal. However, despite this danger, they are sometimes harvested and eaten in East Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. Although it should be noted that care is taken to ensure that their venom is neutralized before being served. Number 13. The Blue Ring Octopus While an octopus may taste great when it's fried up on a calamari platter, the same doesn't hold true for any eight-tentacled creature that has a set of blue rings. That's because the blue-ringed octopus is a small but deadly species. It's probably the last thing you want to have on your dinner plate. Coming in at a length of about 12 to 20 centimeters, they're found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, and they stand apart due to their obvious blue ring pattern. Now, generally speaking, blue-ringed octopus attacks are rare, but if you do happen to threaten one and get bitten, the results will likely be deadly. They're stacked with enough venom to kill as many as 26 adult humans within the span of a few minutes. Their bites are surprisingly painless, but due to the high amounts of TTX inside them, a bite quickly leads to the rapid weakening and paralysis of muscles, which often leads to fatal conditions such as respiratory arrest and heart failure. As such, if you get bitten by one of these tiny creatures, make sure you find your way to a hospital ASAP. Number 12. The Megalodon well, of course, of all the sharks on this list, the undisputed king in terms of size is the Megalodon. It comes in at 15 to 18 meters in length, and it was about three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. Although since it reigned supreme about three and a half to 20 million years ago, it's no danger to humans today. Regardless, the Megalodon was certainly dangerous in its time. It was essentially an enlarged version of a modern blue shark with 276 teeth, that were about 18 centimeters long. As such, it shouldn't come as a surprise that their preferred prey was large fish and whales, with some fossilized whale bones even having megalodon bite marks on them or broken teeth embedded into them. However, despite their size and power, the megalodon ultimately went extinct about 3.6 million years ago. This is likely because at this point in time, worldwide water temperatures cooled and the number of organisms at the bottom of the food chain plummeted. This led to predators at the top having a lack of food, and when combined with the megalodon's affinity for warm water, these sharks simply couldn't survive. Yet, given their size and ferocity, this was probably for the best. Number 11. The Geography Cone On the surface, a creature known as the Geography Cone might seem non-threatening. They're found across the tropical reefs of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and these little guys come in at just about 10 to 15 centimeters in length. Yet, despite looking rather innocent, they in fact have enough venom to bring down an adult human. That's because they use a harpoon-like tooth to insert a complex mix of hundreds of different toxins into any threat in its path. And it usually takes just one to five hours for all the toxin to kill an adult human. To make matters worse, there is no known anti-venom, and generally speaking, the treatment consists of keeping victims alive until the toxins wear off, which is something that's far from certain. As such, the fatality rate of those who are stung by these snails is unfortunately quite high. However, while the geography cone's venom may be quite deadly, on the flip side, it can also be very useful. 
That's because researchers have shown that when isolated, some of the proteins found within the snail's venom are extremely good painkillers, with it being believed that these proteins can be up to 10,000 times more potent than morphine without morphine's addictive properties and side effects. Therefore, there is reason to believe that these deadly snails may be able to be of some serious benefit to humanity in the future. Number 10. Bull Sharks in short, bull sharks are easily one of the most dangerous sharks out there. They typically measure in at a length of about 2.4 meters and weigh about 130 kilograms. Bull sharks are known to be bullish in nature, as they're often territorial, aggressive, and unpredictable. Due to their tendency to also migrate up rivers and hang around in shallow water, they often take people by surprise, and it's this combo that's led to several attacks with some of the most notable occurring in Sydney Harbour in Australia, the Ganges in India, the Atlantic coast off of Florida, and most famously of all, off the Jersey Shore in 1916, inspiring the creation of the film Jaws. Generally speaking, bull sharks hunt down their prey, be that human or otherwise, using the bump and bite technique, where after first initial contact, they continue to bite and tackle prey until that prey is unable to flee. However, since humans are generally not as fatty as they'd like, bull sharks don't tend to keep going after the first bite. And the reality is that while only a handful of people die at the hands of bull sharks every year, hundreds if not thousands of bull sharks are fished every year for their oil and meat. Yet despite this disproportionate kill ratio, I'd suggest not getting in the water if a bull shark's in the area. Number 9. Kandiru while the Amazon's full of dangers, one of the craziest creatures there is is also one of the smallest. It's known as the Kandiru. It's a fish that comes in at about 17 centimeters in length and it's cream in color. And it's widely known as a vampire fish due to its tendency to swim into the gills of smaller fish and live off of them like a parasite. However, while reports on the subject are shaky, there's quite a bit of anecdotal evidence to suggest that Kandirus have another target altogether, humans. In particular, reports specify that Kandirus have a tendency to swim into human private parts, with urethras being the most common place of attack. Oof. It's said that once they're there, they will latch onto the reproductive organs' walls with barbs, and these spikes only driving deeper the more you try to pull the Kandiru out. And while some suggested remedies do exist, many historical case studies have ended in people simply cutting the offending member off. Yet while this anecdotal evidence is pretty wild, the actual empirical evidence supporting Kandiru's attacks are limited. In fact, many scientists today believe that these were just sensationalized stories, claiming that if a Kandiru were to swim up your private parts, it would be completely by accident, as the fish would not survive for long after having done so. Regardless, I'd still suggest staying far away from Amazon's murky waters, you know, just in case. Number 8. Swordfish Swordfish are known for their sword-shaped bills, and while they certainly look fascinating, you should be warned that these swords are not just for show. They are extremely sharp and durable. They're typically used to hunt down smaller fish, yet rather than impale their prey with their swords, they typically use them as scythes, slashing them through small schools of fish in order to knock them out and then gobble them up. And while their fast speeds and ferocious hunting style are no real danger to humans, swordfish can be quite the hazard when they are harpooned. That's because when they're impaled, they will typically jump out of the water or dive very low in order to escape. And due to their size, these incidents can sometimes be deadly. One gruesome example of such an encounter happened in 2015, when a man by the name of Randy Lames shot a swordfish with a harpoon, which then jumped up at Lames, punctured him in the chest, causing him to bleed out and eventually die in hospital. If this physical danger wasn't bad enough, it also turns out that swordfish can be a very real danger for those on solid land. That's because their meat contains very high levels of mercury, and this is of special concern to pregnant women because it can damage a baby's developing brain and nervous system when consumed. As such, whether on land or in the sea, it's probably best to leave swordfish alone. Number 7. The Box Jellyfish Of all the creatures you could possibly be stung by, few have stings as painful as that of the box jellyfish. While there is some variations across the 51 species of box jellyfish out there, generally speaking, they are nearly transparent, squarish, and have a box-like bell, having three-meter-long tentacles, and most importantly, have a killer sting. Found in the warm tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific region, scuba divers and beachgoers often fall victim to them, and their stings are absolutely awful. That's because when a box jellyfish stings, its tentacles will adhere to your skin, 
and after doing so, these tentacles will begin pumping an extremely potent toxin into your body. While pain such as muscle cramping, vomiting, and heart complications, and bodily issues such as scarring are extremely common, things get really bad if a lot of tentacles get onto you. As if 10% or more of a person's skin is affected by the venom, a jellyfish encounter can become deadly. Often taking weeks to recover from, box jellyfish things need to be treated immediately. Although if you are stung, there are some suggested treatments. Experts believe that if you flood the sting site with vinegar, you can quickly inactivate the tentacles. And then if you apply heat for about 45 minutes, you can inhibit the venom and start the path towards recovery. However, even if you do get properly treated, the whole situation of being stung is far from enjoyable. And so in reality, your best bet is to only dive with good quality diving suits that cover the entirety of your skin while swimming in box jellyfish infested waters. Number 6. The Pistol Shrimp At first glance, the pistol shrimp doesn't look like a creature that you'd associate with a live firearm. After all, at just a few centimeters in length, it's pretty unassuming. Yet the reality is that it's the ocean's greatest gunslinger. While most guns only work with bullets, the pistol shrimp manages to take down its prey with supercharged bubbles. More specifically, when the pistol shrimp snaps both its small pincer claw and large snapper claw in a specific way, it's able to make a cavitation bubble that's so pressurized and hot that it shoots out at a rate of 32 meters per second. The shot is so powerful that it produces a noise that's 210 decibels loud, which for reference is far louder than the 150 decibels that you'd hear from a human gunshot. The bubble is also super steamy, as it briefly heats the water to a temperature of 4400 degrees Celsius, which is pretty incredible given that this is only about a thousand degrees cooler than the surface of the sun. As you can probably imagine, the impact of this bubble is usually strong enough to kill or at least knock out the pistol shrimp's prey immediately, and by many accounts this bubble attack is far more powerful than a gunshot. As a result, I think you'd agree that messing around with a pistol shrimp would be a pretty dumb idea, as while they may be small, the sound and power of their bubble is enough to make a human go deaf or, if you're especially unfortunate, pass away on the spot. Yet to date, no one has been unlucky enough to get in their way. Number 5. Lionfish The vibrant patterns, bright colors, and the interesting shape of a lionfish makes them one of the most beautiful fish in the ocean. Yet they also hold the important distinction of being one of the most dangerous. They're found throughout the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. There are a total of 12 species of lionfish out there, all of which feast on shrimp and smaller fish. However, if a larger creature is dumb enough to try to mess with one, they're in for a painful surprise. And this is because these fish have toxin-filled spines that, when inserted into a human, can cause intense pain, sweating, respiratory distress, and even paralysis. While this is pretty awful, the one bright side of a lionfish sting is that they're relatively easy to treat. It's because much of the pain from a sting will subside after a day or two if you remove the spines and soak the wound in hot water, as this helps to break down the lionfish toxins and ultimately allows the wound to heal. However, beyond inflicting physical pain, lionfish are also dangerous on a macro level due to their status as an invasive species. Appearing in densities of over 350 fish per hectare in some reefs, they've spread across the eastern seaboard and the Mediterranean. And this is a problem, because in these environments they have absolutely no predators. Since they also have a voracious appetite, these lionfish have decimated local populations and are such a problem in places like the Bahamas that they have severely impacted about 60 to 95 percent of native small reefs in just a 30-year time frame. As a result, unless these invasive lionfish are dealt with, they will continue to be a menace to both humans and animals alike. Number 4. The Great White Shark of all the beasts in the ocean, few are as feared as the great white shark. It's easily one of the most infamous sharks known to man, and it's gotten a pretty bad rap thanks to its appearance in films such as Jaws and Sharknado. However, the truth of the matter is far from what the movies portray it to be. Now, on one hand, sharks are powerful predators, coming at a length of 3 meters and weighing about 2,200 kilograms. Great whites are absolutely massive, yet despite their heft, they travel at speeds of up to 24 kilometers an hour. This allows them to quickly catch up to almost any and all prey, which they ambush with the help of their great sense of smell and slate gray skin that allows them to camouflage with the ocean floor. Once it catches its prey, a great white clamps down with its 300 serrated teeth which are arranged in several rows and allow it to prey on everything from seabirds to orca whales. However, despite their physical prowess, great white sharks will generally only attack a human if it mistakes one for a seal. 
and after biting once and realizing their mistake, they will generally swim off. And this bite has been enough to send a few humans to a hospital. The reality is that humans are far greater threat to great whites than great whites are to us. This is because a combination of both overfishing for their fins and occurrences of them accidentally being caught in fishing nets has caused their numbers to decline, and they're currently considered to be a vulnerable species by the IUCN. As a result, unless conservation measures are put into place, there's a very real possibility that they could one day go extinct. Number 3. Stonefish While chameleons are the camouflage champions of the animal kingdom on land, the stonefish takes first place among all creatures underwater. After all, they look almost exactly like stones, and while this protects them from natural predators, it also leads to the demise of many unsuspecting humans. Found throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans, the stonefish is widely considered to be one of the most poisonous fish on the planet. When disturbed, it releases a toxin that's so venomous it can easily kill an adult human in less than an hour. And while it's difficult for this fish to injure you while underwater, when they wash up on land or get caught in tidal pools, they cause a very real threat. They're able to survive up to 24 hours out of water and for even longer while in tidal pools. It's easy for innocent beachgoers to step on one accidentally, and when this happens, the stonefish in question releases toxin from some or all of its 13 dorsal spines. The amount of toxin that's let out is proportional to how much pressure is placed on it, so when the full force of a bare sandaled human foot is applied, there's enough force to fully penetrate through the skin and release a potent verruco toxin that has the ability to not only induce intense pain, but also cause respiratory weakness, damage to the cardiovascular system, convulsions, paralysis, and at times, even death. To make matters worse, because the toxin is known to both destroy the cell membranes and lower white blood cell count of an affected person, their wounds are especially difficult to treat, meaning that unless someone is brought to the hospital ASAP, it's very likely they won't recover. Therefore, while walks along the beach may sound romantic, I suggest wearing some proper footwear if you want to make it from one end of the beach to the other unscathed. Number 2. The Tiger Shark while tiger sharks don't get the same bad rap as great whites, they should arguably be considered to be far more dangerous. Coming in at about 3.5 meters in length and weighing in at about 900 kilograms, tiger sharks are widely known not just for their hunting abilities, but also because juvenile sharks sport a dark set of stripes across their bodies that look like the fur of a tiger. Found throughout warm and tropical waters in the Pacific Ocean, they're infamous for eating literally anything in their path, as they will happily dine on sea turtles, stingrays, venomous sea snakes, and in some cases even actual garbage, such as metal, plastic, wood, and fishing gear. However, despite their varied diet, tiger sharks tend to adapt to eating whatever prey is in abundance in the area, and thus they can be placed in nearly any warm water ecosystem without much fuss. Now, while tiger sharks are certainly smaller than great whites, the fact that they're not picky eaters makes them far more dangerous to humans. That's because while great white sharks will often take one bite out of a human and then swim away, tiger sharks will uh, devour a human whole, meaning an encounter with one is far more likely to be deadly. And while defense mechanisms such as poking out a tiger shark's eyes and punching it in the nose are all solid options, the reality is that preventing a shark attack is far smarter than trying to live through one. However, I should note that despite their ferocity, tiger sharks are considered to be near-threatened by the IUCN, as they're heavily overfished for their fins, skin, and flesh, and their livers are often extracted to reap their high levels of vitamin A, which is then processed into vitamin oil. When you further consider that they have very low reproduction rates, it shouldn't come as a surprise that tiger sharks are in some serious danger. Number 1. Pufferfish While pufferfish may appear small at first glance, their ability to puff up multiple times their original size and poison their predators makes them a real menace. Found in warm ocean waters across the globe, these types of fish only puff up when they feel threatened by a predator, causing them to look like a giant ball of spikes. If a predator is stupid enough to chomp down on one, they'll get a mouthful of neurotoxin known as tetrodotoxin, which can easily ward off a shark or other predator while causing paralysis, seizures, or even death in humans. To make matters worse, this neurotoxin is not only up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, but it's also so abundant in a puffer fish that one would have the ability to kill up to 30 adult humans, making a close encounter with one a death wish. If you then further consider that there's no antidote for a pufferfish's neurotoxins, yeah, it becomes clear that they should probably be avoided. 
Believe it or not though, pufferfish can also be a threat to those outside of the water. That's because they're the primary component of a Japanese delicacy known as fugu. In essence, fugu is raw pufferfish, and for about 2,000 years it's been part of Japanese cuisine. However, ever since 1958, chefs have had to obtain a license in order to prepare fugu due to the fact that it's very easy for the toxin from the fish to contaminate the dish. In order to get this license, chefs have to complete a two-year apprenticeship under a certified fugu chef and then undergo a stringent examination. This examination consists of a two-hour written component and a 20-minute preparation component. And it's so hard that even after two years of intense training, only 35% of applicants pass. As a result, the reality is that whether you're in the ocean or at the dinner table, there's a real chance that puffer fish could be your undoing. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.